<laughs> Idioms for kids. Have you ever heard a phrase that seems kind of strange? Something like, it's raining cats and dogs tonight. Or, I'm feeling blue. How about hitting the books? Or, fish and visitors stink after three days. Hmm, does it actually rain cats and dogs? Can you feel the color blue? Are there a bunch of people with hammers hanging around waiting to hit a bunch of books? If you said, no way, you're right. And what do fish and visitors have to do with each other? Today, we're going to talk about something called idioms, which are a part of something even bigger called figurative language. Feeling a little confused? Don't worry, we're here to help. Today, we're going to learn all about idioms and how to use them. Let's get started. Before we dive into idioms, we need to talk about what figurative language is. Figurative language describes something in very colorful terms. It uses comparisons between very different things, like fish and visitors, to paint a picture for the hearer. So put on your thinking caps and let's explore some of these sayings. Let's look first at the phrase, fish and visitors stink after three days. What does that mean? Fish can be very yummy, but what would happen if you left it out on the counter yeah. for three days? It would begin to stink, wouldn't it? What about visitors? Visitors are wonderful to have over, but after a few days, it might get annoying to have to keep cooking for them, cleaning up after them and entertaining them. In the saying, fish and visitors stink after three days, fish and visitors are compared to each other to show that even though fish and visitors can both be good things, after a while, they might stink or you might not want them around anymore. Have you ever heard the phrase, good things come to those who wait? What about the saying, better late than never? Or how about break a leg? You may have read, heard, or said one of these phrases before, but what you might not know is that these sayings have a name. They are called idioms. And idioms are just one part of figurative language. An idiom is a phrase or sentence that does not literally mean what it says. When someone says, break a leg, to someone else, they aren't actually telling that person to go break their leg. That wouldn't be very nice. In fact, the idiom break a leg is actually a nice thing to say to someone. It means good luck. If your friend is in a play or performance, you could say break a leg to wish them good luck. The idiom, good things come to those who wait, is just another way of telling someone to have patience. And the saying, better late than never, simply means that it's better to arrive late than to not come at all. It costs an arm and a leg is an idiom that means that something is very expensive. No one would buy anything if it really cost an arm or a leg. No thanks, I'll keep my arms and legs, thank you very much. Idioms are common expressions, which means that people use them often. People in many different countries use idioms, but a person in another country may not understand the meaning of an idiom used in the United States. And someone in the United States might not understand an idiom in Australia. Idioms make sense to the people that live in that country. Let's take a look at another example. If your teacher tells you to make sure to study for the test and not cut any corners, what do you think that means? Is your teacher telling you not to cut the corners off of your assignment? That doesn't make sense. Your teacher wants you to study for the test and do a good job. So to not cut corners must mean to do a good job and study hard. If you cut corners, it means that you didn't do your best work and something hasn't been done well. 
The idiom, don't cut corners, is just another way of saying, don't take shortcuts, take your time, and do things well. Idioms can be a great way of expressing yourself. The idiom, when pigs fly, means that something is probably never going to happen. Just like the fact that pigs probably won't ever fly. As an example, let's look at two sentences. One uses the idiom when pigs fly, and the other does not. There's never any extra money in the school budget to build a new school gymnasium, so we'll never get one. Or, there's never any extra money in the school budget. We'll get a new gymnasium when pigs fly. Which example do you like better? The second sentence is more humorous and interesting than the first. It also emphasizes the point that it is never going to happen. Idioms can also be found in songs, movies, and TV shows. Look for idioms in books you read and shows you watch. Also, try using idioms the next time you're talking to your family or friends. Hold on! Is this video over already? Man, time sure flies when you're having fun. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.